Welcome to State of Tech. Let's take a look at how to customize the home screen on your Galaxy Note 8. So tap and hold anywhere on an empty area and it's going to bring up the customization options. We have some basic options up at the top of the screen and then we have our three main menus down below such as wallpapers and themes, widgets, and then home screen settings. So up above if we wanted to add in a home screen all we have to do is swipe over here on the right hand side and tap this plus button and it adds in an empty home screen that we can now populate with apps and widgets on our main menu. We also have the option of deleting it by hitting the trash can icon in the top right hand corner of that panel and then tapping on the home button above the panel itself will set that new home screen as our default home screen. So what I mean by that is let's go ahead and come out of this customization. You'll notice that right now I'm on the home screen we started off on but now if I hit my home button it brings me to the actual blank page that I just set as my default home screen. So that's what we were meaning by tapping and holding on that house icon. So tap and hold to open up this menu again. I'm going to go and delete that new empty area and you see we can also add in a new one. It brings it back by default. So let's go ahead and jump into the wallpapers and themes options. This opens up the Samsung themes and we can actually change our wallpaper from one of the predefined wallpapers or we can even choose from our gallery and choose an image from there. We also have wallpapers that we can download from the theme store and there are featured ones as well as different options for sports. We can even do themes based upon our actual holidays or anything that's going on in the month and there's also wallpapers for men and women and we can even do colors as well. There's also themes that will change the overall general appearance of your device and what we can do is actually tap into one. So let's just say this one right here for sailing boat. I can tap on that. I can see that it's going to give me a wallpaper. It's going to change the way the icons look and the text looks. It's even going to skin some of the default apps that come on my device as well. So the theme will generally overall change the entire appearance of your Note 8. We can also just change the icons. So if we wanted to change the way the icons look and not change our wallpaper or theme or anything, we can come in here and find new icons. And the same will go with the always on display. We can also customize the always on display by going into the Samsung themes as well. So let's go ahead and come home and I'm gonna tap and hold on an empty area of the home screen and I'll tap on widgets. These are all the widgets that are installed on my device. Some of these widgets come bundled with an app that you download from the Play Store. The ones that are currently here are the default ones that come pre-installed on your device. You might see a few extra based upon the carrier variant of your Note 8. So if you have an AT&T version or a T-Mobile or Verizon, you might see some extra widgets in here. But for the most part, these are all of the default ones that come on the Note 8. And all we have to do is tap and hold on a widget to add it to our home screen. So if I wanted to say add in my messages widget, tap and hold, and then drag it anywhere on a home screen. So right now this one won't fit on the home screen represented by the red outline but if I drag it over to the right hand side you'll notice it adds in automatically a new home screen and allows me to drag and drop the widget wherever I want to. So let go and it's going to add the widget and then we can also resize it with the blue bars here on our screen. So this one can go all the way down we can have it cover the entire screen or we can shrink it down here to just this portion of the screen. Tap anywhere outside the widget and it's going to save that widget exactly where it was positioned. Now if we tap and hold on the widget, we can also drag it around. You'll also notice that when we tap and hold, we get this little dialog box to remove or even view the app info. And you can remove the widget just by tapping remove and it removes the widget. Now keep in mind if we added in a new home screen for that widget, it doesn't remove the home screen. So you'll notice that home screen is still there. To get rid of it, we just do like we did earlier, tap and hold and tap on the trash can icon. The other area that we're going to take a look at is our home screen settings. This is where we can customize the home screen a lot more. So tapping in there we can see our home screen layout at the top. Tap up there and we have the option of doing home screen and app screen or home screen only. So what they mean by the app screen is basically an app drawer. Now what we do is tap the home button. If we swipe up from the bottom you see we get into our app drawer. The apps all live inside of this apps screen as they're calling it now. Now if we come back into the home screen settings and if we tap in here on the home screen layout and do home screen only, then tap apply, what this is going to do is remove that app drawer. Notice that there's nothing there. It now invokes an actual phone search and all of our app icons have been placed out onto a new home screen. If you want to remove that, just tap and hold, go to home screen settings, and then come back and do home screen and apps, tap apply, and then tap apply. Now if I swipe up, it brings back up that apps screen. Now coming back into our home screen settings, we have our home screen grid. Right now it's set to a 5x5, five five, but you can see I can go all the way up to a 5x6 
and I can also go down to a 4x5. So this just changes how the grid lays out. Some icons and app icons will appear larger if we go down to a 4x5, and if we go to a 5x6, I can fit more on the screen, but some things might appear a little bit smaller than normal. So kind of just find your sweet spot here, play around with these different options, and see which one suits you best. The same thing applies when we come into the app's screen grid. This will change the screen grid size for the app drawer or the app's screen as we mentioned earlier. You see we can choose a 4x6 or a 5x6 and notice we're getting a visual representation on both of them as we change them. There's also the option of adding back the app's button. If you've come from a previous Galaxy device, you might notice on this one there is no app button because we have that swipe up to the app drawer. But if we actually wanted to add that button back in, tap on show apps button, then tap apply, and then come home. And now you still have the option of swiping up, but now we have that apps button as we're used to on all prior Samsung devices. We can use that if we're just a little bit more familiar with having that other than just swiping up for the apps drawer. We can also disable that coming back in. We have the apps button. Just go ahead and tap on hide and tap apply. Now this last option, I find this one really useful for quick open notification panel. What this does right now, if we toggle that on, if we swipe down from our screen, it'll open up our notification panel. And now if we swipe up, it opens up the apps panel. By default, this is not turned on as you noticed, and doing this will either swipe up or swipe down opens the app panel. I feel like that actually applying this new setting is a little bit easier to access your notifications, especially because this is a larger device. Actually swiping down helps you reach that quicker because you notice I can swipe down from anywhere on the screen and it brings down my notification panel. I no longer have to swipe up at the top of the edge. And then our last option here for the home screen settings is actually hiding apps. So if you have a lot of apps in your apps panel and you don't want to see a specific app, say you've installed a third party keyboard and you don't want to see the keyboard's icon, you can come in here and hide icons on your device. So if you don't want to see Facebook, just tap on Facebook, then tap apply. And now you'll notice in your apps panel, there's no Facebook icon. This doesn't uninstall an application. All it does is hide the app icon from this panel so you no longer see it, just in case you don't want it there anymore. It's not really that useful. You have the app installed and it doesn't need to have an icon with it. You can go ahead and disable that. And that is how you customize your home screen on your Galaxy Note 8. For more Note 8 videos like this, be sure to subscribe to State of Tech and give us a thumbs up down below if you found this video useful. We'll see you in the next one.